as a film and television composer, you're always looking for something unusual, something that other people don't have, a sound that maybe you can make your own. Yeah, so the first time I heard, even heard the, the, uh, the term guitar viol, my brain kind of went, oh, what's that? for long notes in film scoring and I didn't have, you know, I had an E bow and I had a cello bow with me and there's sort of certain things you could do, but there's a lot you couldn't. Guitar viol was something that fit so beautifully into an orchestral setting that it opened up, it really opened up a whole new chapter in with, with sort of what I could do. I am a guitar viol player. So that means to me that every day I play guitar viol. It has no context has no other functions except one thing, creating a relationship between me and the instrument. My career was basically meant one thing to me prior to guitar viol. Just play for myself and in the bands that I created. Guitar viol became a bridge between me and other musicians and other composers. This instrument is kind of my ticket into the stringed instrument, to the bowed instrument genre, and into playing these things. I, I constantly get ideas as I'm just holding the thing in my hand. I'm a guitar player that when I compose on the guitar viol, I, I do it on the instrument. I don't really go to the keyboard and, and get ideas there and, and then start playing it on the guitar viol. Rather, I pick up the instrument and I just, I kind of jam with it. And again, it's that experimental nature. You know, maybe I bang on it. Maybe I, I use a different part of the bow. A lot of times it's very simple licks. It's a new instrument. There are no conventions. There are, it's out there to be explored. And I do see myself as an explorer on that instrument. 